Hello everyone, Namaskar, Rajkrishna this side and today we are going to solve one more problem from partial differential equation. If you see carefully the degree of P and Q are 1. So we can move ahead with Lagrange's method because this is of the form PP plus QQ equals to R. So the Lagrange's auxiliary equation R dx divided by coefficient of small p which is yz. This is equal to dy divided by minus xz. This equals to dz divided by xy. Now can we use method of grouping? I think so, at least for once. If we equate the first and the second one, I can see roughly that z is getting eliminated and I will be happy enough to uh, get an equation from there. So if I see z is getting eliminated, that's why I wrote this, otherwise I would have moved to multipliers. Now what I can see that I can take x on one side, y on the other side with it's so minus x dx equals to y dy is there now I can easily integrate them here I will get minus x square by 2 here I will get y square by 2 and a constant will be there let's say c1 fine so what I can do is take this term to the other side and this constant to the other side just to look beautiful. So x square by 2 plus y square by 2 equals to minus c1. So your x square plus y square this 2 which was on the denominator I am sending that to the other side. And this constant is not looking good enough. So let's change it and write it as minus 2c1 as c2. So this is the first equation which we have got. It doesn't matter. Uh, you can, uh, you would have uh, done the other thing also y square to the other side. That purely depends on you. So this is the equation number. What about the other equation? Do I get another one from method of grouping? So if I see uh, the second one and the, the last one, x will be eliminated. I have yz. I would have taken the first and the last one also. y getting eliminated, xz is left. Let's do that also. There is no minus sign, so that will give you a beautiful equation. So dx divided by yz equals to dz divided by xy. y getting eliminated. So you are left with x dx equals to z dz. Let's integrate them. x square by 2 equals to z square by 2 plus c3 so x square by 2 minus z square by 2 equals to c3 so this is uh, x square minus z square equals to 2c3 so x square minus z square equals to Let's say this C4 and also you can let this as equal to U and this is equal to V. So this is your equation number 2. Finally, my final solution is of this form phi of U comma V equals to 0. So phi of U is X square plus Y square and there I have x square minus z square. This equals to 0. 
There are other ways to write this also. Phi of x square plus y square equals to x square minus z square or someone else will write like this. Phi of x square minus z square equals to x square plus y square. Let's check. Do I have the same uh, answer here also? x square plus uh, y square and x square minus z square. If you take uh, the other, definitely you would have taken the second and the third one, you would have gotten some other solution, but doesn't matter. Your process is required to be correct. Other things can be managed accordingly. So that's it. Uh, if you want to summarize this, for you so first we saw the powers or the degree of p and q was fine perfectly fine one so we can go on with Lagrange's method we wrote the auxiliary equation method of grouping was fine with both of them because the other thing which was there z in the first case and y in the second case got eliminated we took the first one as u second one as v so phi of u comma v is your final solution that's what we got also so that's it from my side. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, for more such problems, you can always visit my playlist on partial differential equation, a well-made playlist on partial differential equation. So that's it. Thanks and have a nice day.